women get raped in um, institutions with other women. Or you can have the ultimate experience. You can be in this body bag. And the only way somebody will know you're in here is by this tag that will have your name on it. What do you want to do? That's the question you have to ask yourself. What do you want to do? What? That's what you might want to start doing. Because listen to me. The way you're going, you will go to jail. Or you will end up in this body bag. One or two things. What do you want to do? Young ladies, whether anyone has ever told you before, you're special, you're uniquely made. Stop acting like you're trash and putting pictures of yourself on the internet. Stop being disrespectful to your parents. Care about your future. Be somebody, anybody can be nothing. It doesn't take anything to be nothing. Be something. Do you understand what I'm saying? Care about yourselves. The fact that you're shedding tears means you want to be better and you want to do better. Do it. The only person stopping you is you. Do better than what you've been doing. Do you understand me? Do you understand me? I don't expect to ever see the three of you all back in my courtroom like this. One day I want you to come tell me, Judge Coleman, when I got gray in my hair, because I can't even color it anymore because it's so much gray, I want you to come tell me, Judge Coleman, I graduated from college. You might not remember me, but back in 2016, you said something to me to make a difference. I am sick and tired of seeing people who look like you and I come in my courtroom and I have to sentence them to prison. And then you hear them fussing on TV about African Americans being in the prison system. Well, guess what? If you don't do what it takes to go there, you won't be a part of it. You already know the game. If you know they come in your community more than they do in other communities, then guess what? You've got a heads up. So that means you've got to do what's right, right? Yeah. Don't let me see you here again. Young men, let me tell you something. I raised a young man as a single parent by myself. I know all the stuff that comes up for you all. I know it all. Been there, done that. Because my son, Mr. Cool, graduated Mr. Mr. whatever of his high school. You know how they have kings and queens. He was the king of the high school. So you can imagine, I've gone through every experience. Because if you're popular enough to be voted Mr. Um, he went to Mountain Sales, Mr. Mountain Sales, then you, you know everybody. I'm going to tell you what I told him. Son. I know you're cool and all that. I get it. I know that. I know you're just a man. But what I'm going to tell you, you know I'm a little crazy. So don't come up in this house with any mess. So when folks come at you with dope, this gang stuff, um, let, let me tell you, I'm going to tell you what I told him. Papa, man, you know my mom crazy. I got to go. I, I just can't, you know, she, she crazy. And his friends know I was, you know, I don't mind going there. And I don't know if your moms are like me. I don't know if they tell y'all this is the real deal, buddy. You better get it together. But I'm telling you, if your mom does, don't say that, consider me your surrogate mom. Don't you come up in here. I'm sick of seeing young men who look like you all, and more prevalent young men, men who look like you, white and black all together, coming in this court system, going to jail for something stupid. Get yourselves together. Stop this. Why would you want to be another statistic? Do you want to be another African-American male in a jail cell? Does it, do any of you all want, is that what you want for your lives? Come on. Somebody raping you in the middle of the night, and there's nothing you can do but just lay there. Because guess what? Everybody got to get their turn. So it's your turn, because you're the new meat on the block. That's the reality. And these officers standing here can tell you that even happens locally. I hadn't even asked them, but I know it does. That happens locally in jails. So imagine if you go down the road. Jackson has something for you. That's where you have to go in and do the intake when you go down the road. They've got something for you. And guess what? As big and bad as you all think you can, they got something for you. Believe you me, those inmates have something for you. So you need to get some gold. Now, you didn't raise your hand, young man, about having a gold. You've got to get a gold. Kind of, we gotta get, we can't have a counter, we gotta get one. Because I'm telling you, if you don't make a goal for yourself, society's gonna make one of these two options a goal. And I'm serious. 
I'm not telling you all anything different than I didn't tell my son. But you're going to have to make a decision that you're going to do something different. And don't use your family situation as an excuse. You hear me? Don't use that as an excuse. I don't know what's going on in your lives. I don't know where you live, but don't use it as an excuse. Anything either of you all are going through, somebody else went through it who's successful now. My mom made below the poverty level. I, she was a single mom, and my dad didn't help a whole lot. He did the bare minimum. But I didn't use that as a reason why I couldn't go to college. Guess what? If your parents don't have money, you can go to college almost free. That's the beauty of it. If you don't want to go to college, get a skill, but you've got to do something. I didn't allow my son to use the fact that his father wasn't in the house with us as an excuse. I didn't allow that, because what I told him is you have everything you need, because if you needed something else, you have it. And that's what you all got to know. Everything you need, you have. Young man, do you hear me? Everything you need, and look at you got a polo shirt on that's sitting here because you messed up like that. Somebody cared enough about you to get that shirt. How old are you? And all this alternative school mess, this is ridiculous. See, you're already labeling yourself. When you go to alternative school, that's on your record. People see that. But even if you've got to be there, change the course. Start being different. So they can have, attach something different to your name. Anybody can do nothing. Why would you want to do nothing? Anybody can do and be nothing. Folks who are wearing that, I'm sorry to say, the decisions they made meant they, were, they, they considered themselves nothing. Who thinks they're better than nothing? Who thinks they're better than nothing? That was slow. Okay, put your hand up. That was slow raising your hand. Let me tell you both something. You are special, and you are uniquely made, and nobody else can do what you're supposed to do in this world. Nobody else. And if you don't do it, we won't have it. I, I continue to believe one reason why our society is so messed up, because some people who were supposed or born to do certain things just dropped the ball. They didn't do it. And so for every person who didn't do what they needed to do because they were given unique gifts and talents, we're missing something as a society. Now, if you all continue to go the way you're going, those are 17 more gifts we're missing as a society. Don't do it. And you know what? If nothing else, if your parent ever did, has your parent did one thing that you happy about in your life? Has your parent, raise your hand if your parents have done at least one thing that you're happy about. Just one thing. Thank you, lower your hands. Let me, let me say this to you as a mother. If your parent has done at least one thing that you're thankful for, don't do this to them. You're killing them. You're killing them. When my son got in trouble at school, I'm going to tell you something that you all probably don't realize. I would come back to my office and close the door and cry. Because I wondered if I failed. And all kids go through that. But that's how much when parents love you that they care. And when I see you all hurting, it makes me hurt too. Because I don't even know you all personally, but I love each and every one of you. And I don't want you to come in my courtroom and I have to sit at you as an adult at the age of 17. I don't want that. I don't want to experience that myself, and I don't want you all to experience that. 